and we got the whole day to play ball. Gosh, I'm sorry, Spooky, but I have a date with Wendy. Goyles, bah, the joy killers. <laughs> the beach, Wendy. Thanks, Hazel. Have fun. Hiya, Wendy. All set to go? Come on in, Casper. I'll be ready in a minute. What plays with Goyles is a square. Your chair, Miss Wendy. Oh, thank you, sir. Ah, crap, this romance, but good. <laughs> Understand it. <laughs> you take the dip, Casper, while I get lunch ready. Okay, I'll be back in a jiffy. shells for your collection.
shy killers. Catch black crow and chop off cocoa. Stew in pot just like chow mein. Slowly eat. Now goodbye pain. Hmm. That feline's got a bad toothache. That's all I has to know. Boss, boss! I have to soul living soul what knows the secret formula for curing that toothache. And boss, if I dies. The secret dies with me. Secret? Uh, what secret? The secret of freezing the nerve, boss. Freezing the nerve? Hmm. That sounds logical. Now just stick your head into that freezing unit. Yeah? Yeah? And now we refrigerate it. Small fry. Strutting by the pool room. Oh, your 
new set of ivories. <laughs> J. Caesar Bandwagon, head of Blockbuster Pictures. And I know you're aching all over to meet our great new star. So, <laughs> ache a little longer. First, listen to how I discovered him. One year ago, at Blockbuster, I called in my producers and said, I want you to go out and find me a great new star. Search the world, spend a fortune, but bring back a star. Star to Blockbuster Pictures. For expenses, I gave them my Diners Club card and said, get rolling. Well, they really started rolling. They rolled and rolled. And still they rolled. With very little luck. Meanwhile, Back at the studio. I knew you couldn't find a star. I just wanted to prove it. Now I'm going to show you how to find a star. For an old showman like me, it was duck soup. <laughs> Young lady, <laughs> you're exactly what I've been looking for. Nice legs, lovely eyes. Now, let me hear your voice. <laughs> it's all right, officer. I'm J.C. Bandwagon, head of Blockbuster Pictures. Eventually, I was identified and released. Six hours later, I was across the ocean. <gasps> A Russian Rock Hudson. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I'm uh, J.C. Bandwagon, uh, head of Blockbuster Pictures. Psst. Hitna. Hollywood Big Shot. Sterne Vuska. Blockbuster Pictures. Not capitalistic spy. Felicia! Through the intervention of the American Embassy, I was identified and released. Two days later, I was back in Hollywood. Aha! Another Jimmy Cagney. I waited for him to come out. Uh, just a minute. Uh, I'm uh, J.C. Bandwagon, head of Blockbuster Pictures. Oh, yeah? You look like a stool pigeon. You're J.C.'s a bandwagon. The head of Blockbuster Pictures. Really? Oh, I would have taken you for a pickle salesman. Do you know why? It's that hat. Don't listen to those who tell you that clothes make all the difference in a man. I say that instead, what goes on your head affects you more than clothing can. Now what makes me so gay and debonair? Your socks, or your gloves, your long and silky hair? Why, it's none of those that makes the people stare. Why, of course, it's this, the topper that you wear. Think of all the famous men of history. <laughs> and I think that you will soon agree with me. 
that their choice of hat is certainly the key to their well-developed personality. Think of Robin Hood, Napoleon, MacArthur, or of Zorro, Sherlock Holmes, or Davy Crockett. You can go on till tomorrow, every one of them, I do declare, <laughs> chose his hat with the greatest of care. Oh, when you're wearing the right kind of hat, <laughs> no one looks at your tie or cravat. <laughs> No one gives a hoot about your style of suit If you're wearing the right kind of hat <laughs> When you put on the right kind of hat well, No one cares if you're skinny or fat <laughs> Let me tell you this, you can never miss And your pockets will never be flat When you're wearing the right kind of hat Ooh, Just look what a hat can do Oh, thank heaven for Mimi and Louisa. Oh. Mr. Christian, you've made a fool out of me. What a kiss, that's the stroke. I got a million of them, I got a million of them. But, uh, but, uh, but however, there uh, never have I, have you, have we, but, uh, but however. Let me tell you this, you can never miss And your pockets will never be fat When you're wearing the right kind of hat I grabbed him and held tight A great talent like this wasn't going to get away Now, a great star must have a great name Howard Irving Melvin Harry Cat! Are you kidding? That's my mother-in-law's name. A Clark Abel. A great name, but no. Louie. Seymour. Eddie. Wait. Uh, get me names unlimited. Uh, $50,000 before we start thinking. Six, six, six. I got 
you where I want you, wise Alex. Daddy O, you really laid it on us like trap. Anymore. 
What can we do about it? There is something we can do. Yeah? Yeah? What's that? We must make Casper just as mean as we are. <laughs> you get away with this friendship nonsense long enough. Now we're gonna make you just as mean as we are. No, no, not that! Grab him, man! Excuse? 
He rogues. I'm your Robin Hood from beyond the wood. I walk these straight and arrow. And if the bad should harm the good, I use my bow and arrow. Robin Hoodlum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
out a bit. Oh, Lena! I have invented a hammer, but don't smash up the fingers. My Liebchen! The inventor's wife don't have to scrub me the knees. But, Hyman, I don't mind. Lena, you go read the paper, and I do the scrubbing the scientific way. And now, with the main sail in place, we make with the scrubbing the deck. Lena, look! Your ship has come in! Now we wait the bucket with a rock, and she is all set. Lena, all you have to do to wash the dishes is hang them on a line with a clothespin, yeah? <laughs> and now I go to work on the washing machine. Oh, oh, oh dear! Help! 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 Was ist mit Julina? Mein Liebchen! Und there we are mit der Washing Machine. So, now we add a little steam. Wasn't a ghost? Schuss the tablecloth! <laughs> There's nothing like going to work around the house scientifically. Mach schnell! <laughs> hmm. I think I better test the rug beater. Housework with some wood for the fire blaze. Oh, 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 help! Hyman, help! Ach, Himmel! can't destroy us. Oh, Lena! I first invented something to take the drudgery out of your housework. The wheel! But Liebchen! of transportation. I'll finish dressing you, baby. Then
and you can play outside. The dice ball. <laughs>
think you're trying to kill me. Yikes! Uh, gee, he plays good. Well, that's all right, sir, because I don't want to scare anybody anyway. Oh, you! I'm going to try and find me some friends. Uh, hello, Mr. Octopus. My name is Casper. And A ghost! Oh, gee. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Turtle. me for a friend. Nobody can mutiny on my ship. Get that there, you club. Fight the gang plank. Uh, hello. I'm Captain Billy the Pirate. Who are you? My name is Casper. Hey, Casper. Would you like to play pirate with me? Oh, boy. Chest, yo ho ho, and a bottle of pop. Casper's the friend that we like best. Yo ho ho, and a bottle of pop. <laughs> no, what better place would?
would there be to find a friend? I tell you, Professor, that's absolutely ridiculous. Golly, that doesn't sound friendly. I've heard enough, Professor. Now you're through. Here, Professor, let me help you up. Uh, thanks, little fellow. I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. Someday the dean will see I'm right. Right in what, Professor? That there really is a man in the moon. Of course there is. I could help you meet the man in the moon. Hey, you could? I'd fly you there to meet him, but I'm afraid you're a bit too heavy for me. Well, I, I was planning to fly there myself anyway. Really, Professor? How? Come, I'll show you. Golly, a rocket ship. What's holding you back, Professor? My rockets just don't have sufficient horsepower to get me there. Horsepower? Wait right here, Professor. I'll be right back. Here's your horsepower, Professor. Meet Nightmare, my horse. A, a ghost horse? Okay, Nightmare, rockets away! What was that? I'll take a look. Why, hello, little star. What happened? I was falling. Luckily, I landed on this strange thing. This is a rocket from Earth bound for the moon. Gee, you saved me from hitting Earth. You see, us stars try not to land, but sometimes we just get tired. Come inside and rest a while. Professor, this is a little star who got tired and was falling from the sky. Oh, poor fellow must be hungry. Here, try some milk and cheese. Thank you, but we've plenty of that up here with the Milky Way. And how about something strictly from Earth like uh, bubblegum? Golly, an Earth-made balloon. Say, that's just what you'll need when you're tired. Just hang from your own balloon. Professor, you're a star saver. Hmm, moonbeams. We're in the vicinity of the moon. I'm going to check Nightmare. Nightmare, how about landing on that moonbeam? I have an idea that will make the professor very happy. What's up? Professor, this moonbeam leads right to the moon. I'm sure your rockets have the power for the short trip. How wonderful. I can now zoom to the moon on my own power. Professor, are you all right? Uh, I'm okay, thanks to this swamp I landed in. <laughs> That's no swamp, Professor. That's the green cheese of the moon. Well, Casper, where can we find the man in the moon? See, there he is, painting up for the half moon period. Excuse me, Casper, but I just can't wait to meet him. Boy, oh boy, am I glad to meet you. Oh, a Martian! Wait, wait! I'm a creature from Earth! No! Oh, yikes! Oh, that's even worse! But, but, but I'm a friend of Casper, the friendly ghost. <laughs> Why didn't you say so the first time? <laughs> well, any friend of theirs is a friend of mine. Now that I've met you, Mr. Man on the Moon, I can't wait to get back to Earth and tell my Dean. <laughs> oh, you better leave immediately. Quick, Casper, take him back, take him back. He's already starting to moon. Oh, golly, now he's moony. What do we do? <laughs> Oh, 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 I think it's too late, it's too late. He's moonstruck. There he goes, bane to the door. He's heading for the edge of the moon. I hope he has sense enough not to jump off. Go! He jumped off! Oh, I told you he was moonstruck. Come on, Nightmare. We've got to save him. There he goes, Nightmare. Where am I? What happened? You fell off the moon, Professor. And lucky for you, right into the Milky Way. But how do I get down to Earth from here? Say, Professor, have you any more bubble gum? Uh, yes, I do. Why? Remember the fallen stars? I get it. I'll chew a whole package. Fine, Professor. I'll guide you back to Earth. Easy does it. OK, Professor, we made it. Now I must rush to the Dean. I wonder what the Dean will say. Uh, once and for all, Professor, to prove to you there is no man on the moon, let's go to the observatory and look through the telescope. Agreed. 
Come out of the moon, imagine that. He believes me. I wonder what convinced him. <laughs> Professor, come back soon. And don't forget Casper and Nightmare, Man in the Moon. Can I help you? Oh, Casper, I'm lost! <laughs> if you tell me where you're from, I'll take you home. But I don't know where I'm from! <laughs> Listen, what's your name? Maybe that will give me a clue. My name? Hmm. Clarence? No. Reginald? No. Think hard. Oscar? No. Sally? Sally is a girl's name. Tom? Dick? Harry? I give up. Well, let's see. I'll, I'll have to call you something. Something. That's a dandy name. No, no, no. You don't understand. Something. Boy, what a name. Oh, well. Maybe something will do. Come on, something. We've got to find your home. <laughs> no, what's wrong? I don't want to go to my home. I want to go to your home. <laughs> Okay, I'll take you home with me for the night. Let's hurry. I'm afraid of the dark. But you're a ghost. But I'm just a baby ghost, and I haven't learned any ghostly ways yet. Well, I can teach you. Oh, boy. Can you teach me to fly? Okay. A lot depends on the takeoff. Whee! I can fly! Casper, will you teach me how to become invisible? Sure, it's easy. All you have to do is... Gee, is that all there is to it? Sure, try it. Well, here goes, Casper. Whee! It worked! I'm invisible! Now come on home, and tomorrow I'll teach you some other things. Goody! I keep hearing noises. This place must be haunted. Don't be scared. It's only something crying. I know it's something, but what? Just a minute. I'll show you. Stop crying, and I'll tell you how to become visible again. Now, you... Thanks, Casper. Here I am. Look, a baby ghost. His name is something, and he's lost. Great. We'll keep him and help him grow up to be a big, bad ghost. Boy, that'll be fun. My friend Casper's teaching me how to be a big, bad ghost. No, you've got it wrong, something. I'm teaching you ghostly ways so that you can be helpful to others. Fully. Splendid. I can't wait to take him on a scare raid. Can you fly? Good. Casper taught me. Wow. He's gonna grow up to be just like us. Hey, he went right to the roof. Oh, boy, I'm going to have some fun. <gasps> <laughs> Drat that pesky kid. <laughs> Don't they look funny? They're awfully mad at you. No, we're not. Huh? He suits us fine. Yeah, shows he'll grow up like us. But I want something to be our friendly ghost. Bah, one friendly ghost around a house is enough. What else can you do, something? I can disappear, like this. See? Splendid. At any rate, Casper, you're a good teacher. I like helping others. Come on, something, show yourself. I'll show them. Upsie daily. Hey! What happened? Something. It's you. Who'd you expect? Mother Goose? That does it. Wait, he didn't mean any harm. I'll do some harm when I get my hands on them. Goody, they want to play tag. Please, stop. Which way did he go? This way. 
No, that away. Something. Drop that stick. Oh, all right. <laughs> Look, he's sorry for what he's done, aren't you? Oh, yeah. But not much. This boy has got to go. He's too bad, even for us. Don't worry, something. I'll stay around until you're found. Something. My little baby, I found you. Mama! What do you know? Something really is his name. Are you all right, baby? Sure. Casper took care of me. When I grow up, I want to be friendly, just like him. Now, isn't that something?